What is going on everybody? So I am back today to talk about another film that was released this year and if you haven't noticed lately I've been trying to watch as many f new release films that have come out this year as possible which I try to do every year. Sometimes it doesn't work out in my benefit but this year I'm actually doing a pretty good job staying on top of the new releases and the movie I'm going to be talking about today is one that I'll be honest I hadn't seen a trailer for it. I knew that it was based off of a beloved uh, literary classic but I didn't get a chance to see it when it first came out at the theater. It wasn't like the top of my list of movies to watch. And I finally got to sit down now that it's available VOD and check it out. And the movie I'm going to be discussing today is Are You There God? It's Me, Margaret. Are You There God? It's Me, Margaret is directed by Kelly Freeman Craig. When her family moves from the city to the suburbs, 11-year-old Margaret navigates new friends' feelings in the beginning of adolescence. So as I said, didn't really know anything about this other than it was based off of the Judy Bloom literary classic and I looked into it a little bit before I watched the movie and realized that this was the same director as The Edge of Seventeen starring Haley Steinfeld which is a coming of age film that I genuinely loved. I thought it was really well done. I thought the performances were all really great. I really enjoyed it a lot. So knowing that that's who was involved it gave me high expectations for this movie and I genuinely loved this movie. I thought that it was so fantastic in its uh, presentation, in the performances, in the soundtrack choices, in the way that it could have come off as really hokey and disingenuous, but it really came across as authentic. And part of that is that like, none of the scenarios in this movie feel polished. They feel very rough. They feel difficult for, the for our character of Margaret to get through. And it also tackles some heavier subject matter for a kid that's like, 12 years old about to navigate her teenage years it really tackles a lot of difficult things that young adults can go through and i'll get into that a little bit more later so are you there god it's me margaret stars abby Ryder fortson as margaret and margaret is a young girl the beginning of the film we're introduced to her while she's coming home from summer camp and she gets home to her parents played by rachel mcadams and benny safty of all people i was completely shocked that he was in this movie had no idea and her grandmother played by kathy bates and she gets back home, they're unloading her stuff from the bus, they get her in the car, take her back to their apartment they live in in New York City, and it is dropped on her immediately that before the summer is over, they're moving to New Jersey, and just outside of the city, they're going like right across the way, but she is heartbroken because she feels like she's going to lose all of her friends, she's got to make all of these new friends, and so they move into this house, and on the first day, this, this little girl comes over to the house, introduces herself, immediately invites Margaret to to be a part of her friend group. She does a lot of things to try and fit in. And then she's introduced to this whole new dynamic at the school with these kids who are all like, you know, part of different peer groups, just navigating middle school. Well, at the same time, you find out that in Rachel McAdams' life, her parents, because uh, they were really intolerant when she was younger, when she went to marry Benny Safdie, because he was a Jewish man, they were upset because they were devout Christians. There's this whole other... Um, plot arc of like religion involved in this movie and like how uh, Margaret's parents have not tried to instill religion on her from a very young age and I thought that that was a really unique way to approach material about a young kid because this is a young kid who was put into a family that the parents come from different religious backgrounds. It's pretty apparent from the way that the film is structured that neither one of the parents really dives into religion. They don't really care about it all that much. It's like a part of how they were raised, but you can tell Rachel McAdams' character is very put off by it because her parents were devout Christians. They hated Benny Safdie just because he was Jewish, and they haven't spoken to each other in like 12 years. Benny Safdie's mom, played by Kathy Bates, is goes to the temple every week. She seems to be very like passionate about her belief system where he's just like, oh, temple's boring. I got out of it. It's a part of my life, but like I don't actively practice this religion anymore. And so they're great parents in that they have not forced their child to be a part of either one of those worlds. And to see Margaret like having these conversations with God where she's like having 
you know, just speaking into the universe of all these different issues that she's going through, whether that be trying to come to terms with fitting into a new uh, friend group, coming to terms with a developing body, because obviously at 12 years old, you're going, you're starting to go through puberty, you're going through all of those uncomfortable changes that you go through in their youth, which I think the film really examines in a way that is very poignant and realistic, especially that a, a lot of young girls go through, where a big part of this film is getting your first period and I think that the way that the director handles it all feels very real it doesn't feel hokey it doesn't feel like it would be something you'd find on the Hallmark channel it feels very realistic which is something I really appreciated a lot and so having all of those things and like having crushes on boys and all of the typical things that you would get from these young adults you also have that heavy theme of religion which I thought was handled really delicately and in a movie this length you could probably leave a lot of stones unturned but they don't and that's what's really great about this film is that each one of these subjects that the film wants to unravel it takes its time covering it and spending enough time with it to where you feel like you get sufficient payoff in the end which is great because for a film that's tackling pretty much everything about being a young adult it does so in a way that's really impressive I do want to say all of the performances in this are fantastic um, our lead actress that plays Margaret is great. I feel like the standout performance in this movie is Rachel McAdams. She was absolutely phenomenal, but every single character that shows up in this movie does a really great job. It feels very naturalistic. The dialogue feels very real. And there's obviously like a bubbly tone. This is based off of a book written for young kids, especially young girls going through diff difficult um, parts of being a young adult. And so obviously there's going to be like a lighthearted, goofy moments laden throughout the film but it's necessary for this type of material and it's something to be expected from this type of material but when the drama hits it does so in a way that doesn't feel hokey which is what I really appreciated and like I said I really did not have any expectations for this and it exceeded every expectation that I had it was a great time it was about two hours and the two hours just breezed by the 1970s setting was fantastic I really liked all the costume design in this I thought the production design was really great it felt like a world that was really lived in and authentic to the time period like I said the soundtrack was really fantastic and this is one I could see myself revisiting in the future I just thought it was really well done I really enjoyed myself and if you haven't seen this yet it's available on VOD now and I would highly recommend checking it out so if you've seen are you there God it's me Margaret did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought I thought this movie was fantastic I had zero expectations for it when I went to watch it and I really loved it a lot. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.